Hello again and welcome back to the channel. I'm here in Manila, the capital of the Philippines. And I apologize for the delay from the last video in Brussels to where we are today. I'm gonna explain everything that I've been up to the last month or so and also walk around Manila a little bit. It's my second time here in the Philippines and I'm going to be exploring a different part of the city that I didn't see last time. I'll talk more about that in a moment. Right here I'm standing on a bridge over the Pasig River and there is the old post office building. This is a part of Old Manila. Chinatown is in that direction but I'm gonna head this way through some of these old streets with Art Deco buildings from the 1920s and 30s. And as I walk along, I shall bring you up to date and tell you my plans for the future uh, over the next few weeks as well. So as I mentioned, since that video in Brussels, Belgium, the last on my channel, I went back to the UK to do a visa application and that was for Taiwan. Following the visa application, I then flew to Taiwan and filmed a series of videos there. I was invited by the Ministry of Culture and produced some videos for them and also for my channel because I've always wanted to visit Taiwan. By the way, this is the new entrance to Chinatown. There is an old sign as well, a bit further down the Pasig River. But we're gonna swing right here onto Escolta Street, which is an old street again here in Manila. So the agreement was that I wouldn't be able to upload those videos that I filmed to my channel until next year after they had posted them to their platforms and so without any videos to upload while filming a series I thought I didn't really have much of a choice I wanted to focus on filming that series and so I didn't really have time to put out other videos related to travel so in the end I just thought okay so be it there's gonna be a bit of a gap on my channel maybe one of about a month or so and I will explain all in this video which is what I'm obviously doing now so you can see a little bit of the vibe here in Escolta Street in Manila hey one thing I love about the Philippines is how friendly the people are they're always smiling they're always very happy and it's something that I'm looking forward to uh, experiencing again on this short trip that I'm returning to the Philippines on because I'm only here for a week and a half and the reason for that is because I'm attending a Bon Iver concert in early November in Amsterdam and so from Taiwan I needed to find somewhere for a week and a half, two weeks, to spend a little bit of time before hopping over to Amsterdam. And I was thinking about Borneo, I was thinking about some of the islands of Indonesia that I haven't been to, Sumatra or Sulawesi. But from Taiwan, there was a really good flight to Manila. And from Manila, there was a, only a 350 pound flight to Amsterdam, which made the decision to come back to the Philippines sort of a no-brainer and so I jumped on that 350 pound flight which is hard to find from Asia to Europe particularly this year with all the increase in flight prices so right here we have one of the examples of old buildings that I was talking about this one is called the Calvo building a lot of art deco architecture on this street which is kind of a bit gritty today a little bit run down even you could argue 
but it still has these old buildings from when it was prime downtown real estate during the 20s and 30s and I believe this street was built by the Spanish in 1594. So as for the Taiwan series that I filmed, I do not know what month those videos will be coming out, but I am planning to go to Japan next year in around March time. And so I'm thinking of popping in the series to complement that trip to Japan and combine them all in sort of a group of East Asia vlogs. Let's see. The last time I was in Manila, I visited the old Spanish quarter, Intramuros, and also Binondo, Chinatown, which isn't far from here. And I also showed the BGC, which feels almost like Singapore. And so if you're looking for some modernity and fancy buildings, then you can absolutely find it there in the BGC. But this is a area that I haven't seen yet. Some street food or nuts, I should say here. It's a wet and humid day here in Manila. That's why I've got my raincoat on. And what are my plans for the Philippines then? So as I only have a couple of weeks, I want to visit some other parts of the country. Obviously, last time I traveled north from Manila in Luzon to Baguio City. Some of you may remember. And then from Baguio City, I went further north to Banawe and the Batad rice terraces. And then from there I went to Sagada and following Sagada made my way back to Manila, took a flight to Panglao Island. From Panglao Island I crossed the bridge to Bohol, made a video in Bohol, seeing the chocolate hills and the tarsiers. And then from there I made my way to Cebu and Cebu City. That was all I did. My 30 days ran out. You only get 30 days in the Philippines as a tourist on your visa. And so uh, this time I have booked a flight which leaves tomorrow to Davao, Mindanao, the second largest island in the Philippines, the far south, one of the least traveled parts of the country. And so I'm gonna spend most of my time there. Crossing the street here. A little bit of a sprint. Got some random street food lying around. Perhaps I'll try some later. If I see anything that interests me. Now this is a really old part of the city, as I said, and you can certainly get that feeling of quote unquote, the real Manila, which is cheap knees. I can't spot one right now. Okay, there's one coming. They're these jeeps, long jeeps, you could say, I think, which are local transportation. You hop on and you hop off. They go all over the city. And much like the Matatu of Nairobi, many people in Manila take a jeepney every single day and they are always colorful and loud and you can hear them. You know when they're coming, you can see them. Manila is one of the most densely populated cities in the world. I don't think I quite expected this street to be so lively. <laughs> and it's quite nice hey, when you travel and wander around a city and then you just find all sorts going on. Oh. 
If you ever plan to come to Manila, I have to warn you about the traffic. If you're taking an Uber across the city, you need to allow a lot of time. Going from BGC or Makati all the way to Intramuros or Binondo or where I am now, which is very close to Binondo. It can take a couple hours during rush hour or 40 minutes to an hour during a non-rush hour time. So keep that <laughs> in mind. So I do not know where Kipo Market starts and ends, but I think I'm in it right now. And it's one of the largest markets in Manila, also one of the oldest. And if you're looking for something a little bit less touristy, then you can head here. Some candles for sale uh, outside the church here. So all these items associated with the church just next door here. Small figurines, hi, and icons of Mary. So here you can see that they do fortune telling or tarot card reading, which is quite a popular custom. Seems to be a significant one here. Someone filming the process. I would have my tarot cards read, but at the same time, I'm a little apprehensive that it'll be something terrible and then end up becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy, even though I don't necessarily believe in that. But uh, <laughs> I also feel like I don't really want to mess with it. So I'll leave it there. But if you fancy knowing your destiny and your future, then head to this market and I'm sure someone will be able to tell you exactly what's going to happen. Swinging round here to the entrance of the church. The minor basilica of the Black Nazarene and it holds an iconic image of Jesus inside I believe. Take a look here underneath this bridge. You have all these baskets on sale. On each side. So for that little pedicab journey, I paid 200 pesos and I'm now here in Intramuros. <laughs> and just a quick recap, it was a walled city built by the Spanish here in 1571. I went into a bit of detail when I was here three and a half years ago or so now. And this is the great big cathedral that stands out in the middle. It's funny because I'm right by the San Augustine church and this exact spot I was at three and a half years ago there was a wedding happening when I looked at the entrance and it's the same right now. So I have decided
decided to settle here in Intramuros and have dinner because it's currently rush hour and I tried calling a grab to get to the other side of the city but uh, I was waiting for about 40 minutes so I thought I'll just have dinner here and I'm in a place called Restaurante della Mitra and I have the national dish of the Philippines which is adobo I've got it with chicken and it is primarily soy sauce and vinegar many native Filipinos used to marinate their meats in soy sauce and vinegar to preserve them from bacteria and then keep the bacteria away Terminal after taking a grab from where I'm staying in Makati to the airport. And I am now waiting for my flight to Davao in Mindanao, which is the second largest island of the Philippines after Luzon. Davao is also the second largest city by population I believe in the Philippines it's one of the lesser traveled parts of the country and it takes two hours the same amount of time it took me to fly from Taipei to Manila which just gives you an idea how spread out the Philippines are so I'm gonna wait for my flight now and I thought I would add on my journey to Davao showing what it's like to travel domestically by flying in the Philippines at the end of this video up I'm now here in Davao after landing an hour or two ago and I just took a grab from the airport to my hotel which is just around the corner from here and I have to say it feels a lot more laid back than Manila but this is only one tiny part of it it feels almost like a small town but you know this is probably just the neighborhood that I'm in I'm going to be doing an entire video on Davao City which will be the next one of course I just had my dinner I tried sisig for the first time pork sisig and for those who don't know pork sisig is a mix of pig ear and head and a bunch of other things it's kind of sizzling when it comes you eat it with white rice I... so that was an interesting Thing to try on my first night here in Davao City. This is primarily a Manila video, so I'm going to end things here. Hey, people are really friendly, and so many people in the Philippines speak English. So I'm gonna end it here, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'll be exploring as much as I can, so I'll see you then. Cheers.